Are Dominicans black? What does it mean to be Dominican? Beyond the culture, beyond the heritage, what does DNA say about the roots of Dominicans today? Turns out there's a rich mix of various ancestries at play, and recent studies have revealed some shocking information about Dominicans of the past. Today, we're diving into the DNA makeup of modern Dominicans and tracing back to their historical roots to see how they've changed over time. First inhabitants of the island Hispaniola, where Dominican Republic is located, were indigenous Americans of the Taino tribe. This group of natives is related to Arawaks who are also present in throughout Northern South America near Caribbean coasts. The word Carib, from which the terms such as the Caribbean Sea and Caribbean islands has its roots in these languages. Unfortunately, due to Hispaniola being the first island to be discovered by Christopher Columbus and having lower population density than Central and South America, Tainos were severely depopulated from their home islands due to diseases, influx of people from the Old World, and as well as direct depopulation as well. This wave of European was mostly composed of men. Therefore, while Taino males were depopulated, there was substantial mixing with Taino women at first. This initial event is substantiated through studies of Dominican paternal Y-DNA and maternal DNA. Quick reminder that Y-DNA is only one gene that passes down from father to son and never changes, and MTDNA passes from a mother to her children. However, even when combined, these do not represent the entire genome. The entire genome is better represented by autosomal DNA. Paternally, the largest source of ancestry for Dominicans is European, as European colonists must have arrived in waves that were predominantly male-driven. Around 42% of paternal lineages of Dominicans can be traced to Western Europe. These early European colonists first mixed with a native Taino women on a massive scale, which is shown by the fact that 22% of maternal lineages of Dominicans are of indigenous Taino ancestry. While paternally, Taino ancestry is only at 3%. This would mean that early European colonists may have targeted Taino males for depopulation, but spared the women and procreated with them, possibly due to not having brought any women initially themselves. As European maternal lineages are the lowest among Dominican maternal lineages, being at 19%. The next largest source of paternal ancestry of Dominicans is South Saharan African. As we discussed earlier, due to transatlantic slave trade, it is estimated by historians that close to 1 million Africans were brought to the island of Hispaniola, which would be 10% of the entire population of Africans brought to America. While the first wave of this ancestry arrived in the Dominican Republic through the transatlantic slave trade, it was also gradually increasing due to internal migrations within the island of Hispaniola, which we will mention later. Maternally, this is the largest ancestry of Dominicans at at 59%, which means that most of the ancestry of Dominicans on their mother's side is of South Saharan African origin. However, there isn't as much discrepancy paternally either, as around 37% of Dominicans also carry paternal lineages from that region, which means that unlike with Tainos, South Saharan African males survived and were procreating as well. Overall, in terms of autosomal DNA, Dominicans average 42% of South Saharan African ancestry, one of major paternal components of Dominican ancestry that you might be shocked to find out is actually of North African and Middle Eastern origin. Around 18% of Dominican paternal lineages can be traced to that region, which is six times higher than the 3% of native Taino paternal lineages, and there are many reasons why. Firstly, many of the Spaniards that settled the Caribbean were from Canary Islands, which are just off the coast of North Africa, and were populated by Guanches, who are a Berber-like peoples. This admixture existed in Canarian Spaniards, hence it was indirectly brought to the Caribbean as well. Majority of this paternal ancestry, however, seems to have been brought to the Dominican Republic by Sephardic Jews fleeing into the Caribbean to possibly escape the Inquisition. There was also some Jewish migration during Trujillo's regime, as immigration of non-African populations was encouraged by Trujillo However, it seems that a large amount of those migrants eventually left for the States, Canada, and Argentina. Because it is generally somewhat difficult to differentiate if some of this ancestry came from admixture in Canarian Spaniards or directly from Sephardic Jews, this ancestry component 
is generally grouped together with the European one. Overall, autosomally, Dominicans average 50% of combined European and Middle East North African related ancestry. This is the largest component of overall Dominican autosomal ancestry. In summary, when looking at the autosomal genetic profile of Dominicans, with autosomal DNA being the entire picture of one's genome and not just the paternal or maternal lineage, we see that Dominicans are on average of 50% European, North African, and Middle Eastern ancestry, 42% South Saharan African ancestry, and 8% of native Amerindian ancestry. Now, what's interesting is that the Dominican genome may have been different as recently as three centuries ago. Remains of the Dominican founder population that lived in the 1700s revealed a much higher share of European ancestry at 73% and showed lower levels of South Saharan African ancestry as well at 17%. The remains clustered closer to modern Cubans than they did to modern Dominicans. However, due to the second wave of Atlantic slave trade in the 18th century, ramping up to much higher levels than the first wave before its ultimate decline in the 19th century, and due to sharing the island with Haiti where the population is predominantly of South Saharan African from which there was consistent migration, South Saharan African ancestry has increased in Dominicans over the past three centuries, with Dominicans now having the highest diverge of South Saharan African ancestry amongst Hispanic groups. As a result, Dominicans are a highly mixed population with the two largest ancestries of Dominicans being European and South Saharan African at about equal rates with minor Middle Eastern and indigenous admixture as well. Unlike in former British colonies of Americas, all of Dominicans are mixed just to various degrees and ethnic as well as cultural self-identification is of more importance to Dominicans than racial identification.